Listen to this. Stockton, California, officially the first in the United States to roll out a universal basic income, UBI. The city, once known as America's foreclosure capital, will pay over 100 low-income residents 500 bucks a month, no strings attached, to try to combat poverty. Big question is, is it going to work? Maddie Dupler is a senior fellow at the National Taxpayers Union. As you can see, she's uh, working on this President's Day. Maddie, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so it's um, it's not a real universal basic income thing that yeah. uh, Stockton's doing. It's very limited. Is it going to work? That's exactly right, Steve. I think that Stockton probably knows. They've seen some of these other examples around the globe right. from universal basic income programs that haven't worked at all. So they've created a very targeted, narrow program. It's not really a UBI program at all. What it does is it affects about 4% of the population in Stockton. It goes, this $500 they're giving out only goes to people below a certain median income, which is actually the opposite of UBI program. A UBI program says everyone, regardless right. of income, regardless of employment, universal. gets, exactly, gets a pay. Out. The thinking being that this gets rid of the disincentives for people who are getting aid to not right. find work. Now, in Finland and in Canada, they've tried these programs and they have found the opposite to be true. They have found that by paying people not to work, you don't create any incentives to right. attach people to the workforce anymore. So that <laughs> creates some problems. Well, here's the thing, Maddie. If if you if it were successful and everybody got, let's say, five hundred bucks, thousand uh, dollars per month not to work, eventually. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to be able to put the money in to pay the people the $500,000 or $1,000 a month. <laughs> That is an interesting uh, solution to a problem that we have. You know, it, it's it's amazing to me. Proponents of a UBI program, they say that this is a way to get rid of inequality and to help people who can't work. But you look at the examples of places that have tried this that have really robust social safety nets, right. and they even say that this does nothing to try and correct those inequalities. And everywhere, Finland and Canada, as I mentioned before, that have tried these programs right. have canceled them because they have shown to be ineffective. Well, we're going to monitor the situation out in Stockton and see how it turns out. Maddie, one other thing. Uh, there's a story about, you know, the Green New Deal. Uh, it's going to remake everything, e every building. The studio I'm in, the one you in, going to have to be retrofitted. Yeah. Uh, they have estimated that it would cost close to $2,000 per apartment in New York City just to install LED light bulbs. Just to screw in a light bulb, 2000 bucks an apartment. And listen, this is probably a pretty modest es estimate if you look at the rest of the Green New Deal, which right. really calls for getting rid of all of our energy infrastructure and replacing it with greening infrastructure. And, you know, we have an example for this. President Obama's stimulus plan in 2009 created a lot of incentives to right. try and green up federal buildings. And what we saw was exorbitant costs and okay. not a lot to show for it. I mean, look, exa and perfect examples in California, the fact that the high-speed rail was just canceled after 10 years of delay right. and absolutely no uh, rails being put into the ground shows you exactly how efficient some of these federal regulations are when they come to building new infrastructure. Right, exactly. And uh, President Trump said at the end of uh, last week he wants that money that they gave uh, California for the high-speed rail. He wants it back. Uh, but the governor out there said, nope. Hey, and the taxpayers get should get it, too. Go have it go right yeah. back to the taxpayers, not federal coffers. Don't hold your breath. All right, uh, <laughs> Maddie Duffler, thank you very much for joining us live Good today. Good to see you. All right. Uh, meanwhile, 820 here in New York City, Democrats say President Trump is making up the crisis at our southern border. Simply no emergency there.